Welcome to Snowseekers TV. I'm your host, Doc Powell. Each week on Shaw, as well as on our website at snowseekers.ca, you'll find the best options to maximize your next winter vacation. Welcome to Lake Louise Mountain Resort here in the outstanding Canadian Rockies. Located in historic Banff National Park, the resort is legendary for both its scenery and world-class terrain. The destination of Lake Louise offers some outstanding opportunities for adventures on and off the slopes. Nestled in amongst tall pines, the riverside location of the village of Lake Louise, with its mountain views, provides a welcome place to kick back after a big day on the hill. It's super great to be back at the lake, man. I mean, it's uh, it's all about the views and the snow and just the space, right? It's Absolutely. It's a good time. Yeah. And so, what is it for you that just keeps the lake special? The Lake Louise area is definitely, the scenery here is world class, probably the very best scenery, arguably, in the entire world. Well, I think we need to get out and check it out. I well, we can't believe we're sitting here when we could be out there. Exactly. Let's, Let's do go. it, my friend. Lake Louise is Canada's, one of Canada's largest skiers. We have about 4,200 acres of terrain. You know, we've put a lot of snow here on the men's World Cup courses and the women race here as well. But we're making snow throughout the entire uh, ski area and we're open for the public the first weekend in November. We're one of the few places that can guarantee snow conditions to have a race at that time of the year uh -huh. and that has the vertical uh, that's necessary for a men's downhill race. So. And one of the really great things about here is all of our chairs have a green run down. So if you're skiing with uh, somebody who wants to do double black diamond, cool, you go that way. You know, daughter can go this way, mom can go that way, and then everybody can come and ski down at the same, meet up at the same lift, ride up in the same lift, and everyone can ski together all day long, and that's a truly a remarkable thing here. We're going to keep, keep building uh, Lake Louise to become an even better resort, and uh, it's iconic. There is only one Lake Louise, and as I said, uh, we're just working now on our long-range plans yep. to uh, open up uh, more terrain and perhaps add 20 or 30 percent uh, more uh, ski terrain. Not that we need it, but just because it's there, we'll open up some more high alpine bowls and provide more terrain for the uh, green and blue skiers and allow them to experience that high high altitude uh, feeling when you get when you're above tree line. Here at Lake Louise, you're not going to go wrong. Walking up for your app right here at the Kokanee Cabin. Good times to be had always. Whether you're just starting your day or ending it, Lake Louise offers some excellent on-hill dining and app race spots. Throughout the season, you can count on stellar tunes being cranked out at the cabin, but when spring hits, it's all live music and smiles. In addition to some amazing downhill opportunities that the infamous Lake Louise offers, there's also a wealth of snowbound adventures to be had on the Nordic and the snowshoe trails. And here to tell us a little bit about those opportunities is our good friend Bill, a local to Lake Louise. And thanks for joining us today, Bill, to tell us a little bit about those trail systems that are in and around the village. You bet. We've got uh, an awesome set of trails and uh, they do start right at the village. You can get it uh, on the trails right behind uh, the store at Wilson's. And uh, there's lots of trails for everyone from uh, you know, beginner skiers right up to expert skiers. They're in great shape, there's beautiful dry snow, and uh, it's exciting that the national team comes out here in November, and that's a really nice early start. And you can ski right up until uh, May here, so there's uh, lots of, uh, a, a great time when we use the trails, and there's lots of trails for everyone to enjoy. It's a little bit more rugged out here. We don't have the sort of niche community that Banff does. So you're coming out and getting much more of a wilderness experience in and around Lake Louise. I think an important thing um, to remind our visitors of when they're coming here in the winter time is to check in with our visitor center, is to get some information about the park before headed out to make sure that they're doing um, things as safely as possible. And um, as well, just to remember and appreciate that this is a national park. So make sure that recycling goes into appropriate places, garbage is coming in and out with you. Um, and that you're following all the appropriate safety precautions. The village here in Lake Louise is internationally known for offering amazing views and direct access to some awesome snowbound adventures. And of course, an important part to that is where you're going to stay. And we've checked into the Lake Louise Inn for a beautiful night's sleep and get all recharged for another huge day on the slopes in the morning. We try to give it a setup which looks like actually that you're staying up in the mountains mm -hmm. next to a riverbed. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. to give you that feeling that it's right, really comfortable and beautiful. Everything is easy going, staff is very friendly at the front desk or in the hotel, everywhere. We've got two hot tubs and a pool and we've got a steam room. And then of course we have room with kitchenettes, which saves money on your room, which saves money on your food. And so I've been recruited out 
I love yeah. this. Yeah. Here, here we are at the uh, Lake Louise Inn, and I get to work with a fine fellow like yourself and whip up some pizzas. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit, the Timberwolf, right? Timberwolf restaurant here in Lake Louise. It's great. We're known for the best pizzas west of Calgary, for sure. <laughs> Let's jump into the kitchen and see why. Okay, we'll do that then. All right. <laughs> Definitely gonna fuel you up for another huge day on the lake at the slopes. You bet, yeah? you bet. Yeah. You're gonna be up there riding all day with that in your belly. Some, some black olives. Crab. And again, it's a red pepper this tomato is a, sauce. This is a red pepper uh, tomato sauce. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's some of these signature touches then that probably have them lined up as far as to get in on this pizza, isn't it? Yeah, we just uh, revamped our menu here just recently. We thought we'd bring it up a couple of notches and try to make it a little bit different. Because most people just have the, you know, the regular pizza sauce. Perfect. We're just going to toss this in the oven, and in about 12 minutes, we're going to have two lovely pizzas. These are signature pizzas, no? These are the signature pizzas. This is the end pizza here, and this is why it's the best there is. Isn't well, that a beautiful pizza? I don't think we're the only pizza in town, but we are the best pizza in town. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Snow Seekers, the guide to winter vacations in Western Canada. Check us out online at snowseekers.ca. And while you're there, be sure to enter to win some stellar prizes.